M M M Musical Monday Mornings with Joe. Good morning, everybody. It's a humid Monday morning. We're going to get some bad storms, so stay safe later. So anyway, every week I present a great show. This one is one where your imagination will go. It's a fun musical you would want to see. It's based on books familiar to you and to me. It's full of who's, birds, and a whimsical cat, and also an elephant on which a nest sat. If you haven't guessed by now, here is the musical. It's by Aaron's and Flaherty, and of course I'm talking about Susical. Yeah, Susical the musical based on uh, the stories of Horton Hears a Who and Horton Hatches an Egg um, with all other uh, Susian uh, stories thrown about, including uh, the Lorax, the Cat in a Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, um, and it's just, it's, it's, it's a delightful little musical, um, but unfortunately Broadway didn't think so. Uh, Eric Idle from uh, Monty Python fame came up with the idea and commingled with uh, ragtime superstars uh, Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty to create this musical and it uh, opened on Broadway in uh, November 30th 2000 uh, but unfortunately closed very shortly in the middle of May 2001 after 200 performances it was reported an 11 million dollar loss one of the worst financial flops in Broadway history. Um, the original cast was David Shiner as the Cat in the Hat and Kevin Chamberlain as Horton, who uh, received two Tony Awards for his, uh, two Tony Award nominations for his portrayal as Horton. Um, the show didn't get anything else. Um, after uh, David Shiner, the ticket sales were declining, so they decided to bring in Rosie O'Donnell as the cat. Oh, that helped a little bit, but not really. Then they had the bright idea, oh, let's uh, bring in pop star Aaron Carter as Jojo, and we'll make the cat Kathy Rigby. Uh, yeah, okay, it didn't quite work. If they would, in my opinion, if they would have just kept Eric Idle as the cat, and brought it to Broadway, it would have been a smash. I mean, think about Eric Idle with Always Look on the Bright Side of Life and the whimsical nature of Susical. It would have, uh, it would have probably been really good. Um, I had a chance to perform in this uh, 2009 with Chansonette Theater of Easton. I was the mayor of who, who has just been elected and upright behavior is thus forth expected. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great show. Um, our, our Horton was the uh, infamous Brian McKay. And um, it was directed by Rebecca Peeper and musically directed by Lucille Kincaid. So it was a, uh, a star-studded um, performance. It was wonderful. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then in 2020, I got a chance to musically direct it uh, unofficially. We did it at Bethlehem Catholic. Sorry, kids, for bringing this up. Um, but we were all ready to go, and unfortunately, two weeks before we were supposed to open, the ugly COVID thing reared its head, and we had to cancel the show. So nobody uh, but the cast got to see the show. It was... Uh, tragic in my mind. Uh, it, it was so sad that all that work um, and didn't get to show anything for it. Um, I know it, it wasn't a very good experience for some of the students, but um, I know I enjoyed it, so take it for what it is. Anyway, um, along those lines, the song I'm going to do is in the first act, the cat sings, How Lucky You Are. See, if you know the story of Horton, um, he finds a clover that the small town of Who lived on. 
um, and he tried to protect the clover until one day a black bottom bird named Vlad Vladikov uh, picked up the clover and dropped it in a giant clover field. And Horton had to sit there with every little clover and say, are you there? Are you there? And eventually his uh, wonderful friend, the amazing Gertrude McFuzz, um, found the clover for all for him. Um, and the story goes on from there. So anyway, the cat sings, how lucky you are saying that even though things go wrong, you should be grateful for what you have, which uh, is a wonderful creed that we all should live by. So anyway, um, the song from Act One, How Lucky You Are. When the news is all bad, when you're sour and blue, when you start to get mad, you should do what I do. Tell yourself how lucky you are. When your life's going wrong, when the fates are unkind, when you're limping along, you get kicked from behind. Tell yourself how lucky you are. Why did cry a cloudy sky, an empty purse, a crazy universe? My philosophy is simply things could be worse. So be happy you're here, think of life as a thrill, and if worse comes to worse, as we all know it will, Thank your lucky star you've gotten this far. We're here in this beautiful theater and you're in the first row. How lucky to be in this theater, more lucky than you know. You could have the luck of our hero whose luck has been running low for certain curtain. Oh no. How lucky you are! How lucky, how lucky you are! And I'm lucky to have you guys as friends. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great Monday, great rest of the day. God bless you all. Stay safe.